Welcome back, everybody, to the Denver Broncos franchise on Madden 20. It feels pretty good to be coming off of a win this week as the Broncos ended their six-game losing streak and they're now 3-8 and eight on the year. And they'll take on the 6-5 and five Tennessee Titans here in Week 13. With their six wins, Tennessee is definitely in the playoff hunt this year and we kind of helped them out with the trade of Chris Harris, who we'll see today. It's been a really difficult season for Denver, but recently we've had something to cheer about, and that has been the play of Marion Peppers. He's coming off the first two 100-yard games in his young career. He had two touchdowns a week ago and had some fantastic plays against the Raiders. Pretty soon it looks like we're going to get the chance to see him and Donovan Jennings together, and I can't wait to see what the Denver running game looks like when that is the case. But let's get into week 13, everybody. Denver trying to add on another win here to spoil Tennessee in their playoff pursuit. Deion Price back deep, and the Broncos will start with the football. Across the 25, and a solid return for Price as Taquan Layton comes out. Nine touchdown passes on the year and 12 interceptions. The turnovers have been more of an issue recently, but hopefully down the stretch, Behind a good running game, we can see that go down a bit. First and 10, starting with a run. It is Marion Peppers getting a couple. Peppers comes in 520 yards on the year. Now play action all the way out, Taquan Layton. He's way outside the pocket and delivers one to Centarius Phillips downfield. That's a gain of 28. If this team can run the football and Layton can make plays outside the pocket, they have something to build around. Here goes Peppers again, trying to stretch this one outside. He is chased down at 36. Another run, now cutting to the right side, and the Titans are ready for him. Adoree Jackson and Rashawn Evans. That makes it third down for Denver. Got to pick up eight. Leighton steps up, ball comes out, and Tennessee will take it. We've seen this far too often. Another lost fumble for Taquan Layton. And that brings out the Titan offense. They start at their own 47. The quarterback, Marcus Mariota, and a handoff goes to Duke Johnson, who is stopped quickly by Vaughn Miller. Second and 15, knocked down in the face of Mariota. Again, Miller with the impact, and quickly a third down for Tennessee. Mariota needs 15, airs it out, and A.J. Brown makes the catch, and that's enough to move the chains. Gain of 22. Tennessee in the scoring range now, and back to the air, spinning. Mariota wide open to Adam Humphreys inside the 10. Goal to go, Tennessee trying to strike early. Offset backfield. Duke Johnson, nowhere to go. He's met by Boogie Turner, who's had a terrific rookie season. He's been the Broncos' best defensive lineman, maybe best defensive player. Third down underneath and making a move to the end zone. John U. Smith, oh my. An embarrassing play for this Bronco defense. And John U. Smith, the Titans' leading receiver, finds the end zone for the fifth time this year. Seven to nothing, Tennessee. And here's Taquan Layton with a pass to the outside that is broken up for Hakeem Butler. Butler's had some pretty good moments since Samuel went on IR. And now on third down, intended for Phillips, and that is knocked away. A quick three and out for the Broncos. And here's Tennessee again. Duke Johnson. Wow, what a hit by Miles Jack. Great run defense so far on display by Denver. Can they get off the field? This is A.J. Brown. A spin on McKinney and taken down by Baxter. Back again with Denver. Two receivers in the pattern and they run left. Big opening. Marion Peppers with the move and he gets up to the 43-yard line. These last few weeks have shown me that perhaps Peppers is better than I thought. Here is Leighton on the throw, complete to Noah Fant, and that's an easy first down pitch and catch. Broncos into plus territory. Back to the air again, a quick throw, Fant. He gets inside the 35 this time with a gain of seven. Denver right on the edge of field goal range. Leighton cannot take a sack. 
He gets time and wide open. Noah Fant again breaks a tackle and has Denver up near the red zone. Good impact from Fant on this possession. Now Denver back to the run. Big opening. A cut from Green. He's inside the five. It's an 18-yard pickup for the speedster Marcus Green. Goal to go Denver. Trying to stretch this one and Peppers is hit quickly and had no shot. They're going spread here on third down. Empty backfield, Peppers in the slot. Leighton, three-man rush, gets rid of it. Incomplete. Trying to get Noah Fant his first touchdown of the season. Broncos at least get on the scoreboard, 7-3. Here's a run, Emmanuel Quincy into the game, and this is a one-yard gain. Jarek McKinnon now checks in on third down. A split back look, and Mariota to the outside. It's Humphreys again. First down, Titans. Three receivers in the game. They'll try Duke Johnson again. Not much up the middle, and he stopped around midfield. Out of the bunch here. Third down, and Mariota got Boogie Turner to jump off sides. There's a free first down. From the Denver 46, Duke Johnson runs right into Vaughn Miller. They've tried to establish this run early. It's just not working. Going spread now. Throwing on third down. A.J. Brown made one man miss. And then brought down by Eric McKinney. One yard shy. So here's Matthew McCrane to extend the Tennessee lead from 53. And he pulled it wide left and no good. Great field position now for Denver taking over. Only down four in the second quarter. Marion Peppers trying to bounce it and stopped at the 49. Tackled by Chris Harris who is wearing number 26. Leighton throws this pass quickly out to Noah Fant who turns up and appears to have another first down. Fant pretty busy in this game as Leighton rolls out. Good coverage downfield and a bit out in front, trying to find Fant again. Leighton now 5 4 11 passing. Now a run to Peppers and a phenomenal play to stop him at the 46. This is not where Denver wants to be. Pressure sent third and long. Caught by Noah Fant. He has the first down again. He has five of Leighton's six completions. And we're only midway through the second. Spreading out the defense again. Leighton up top. Phillips is there and nearly pulls down a big catch inside the five. Marion Peppers out wide on third down. Plenty of time. Leighton's going to the end zone. It is caught out of bounds by Miles Starkey. What a play he nearly made. Denver adds three more as they make it a one-point game. Here's Tennessee again. Catch made, A.J. Brown. Mariota very efficient to start things for this one-dimensional offense. And again complete. It's Adam Humphreys right near Christian Baxter. In Bronco territory, a run to Johnson. And he's stuffed once again. Simmons and Baxter. This defense creates another favorable third down. Mariota throwing short. Good move, Duke Johnson, but wrapped up on the play and short of the sticks. Tennessee stalls again. And they bring out Matthew McCrane again. He missed earlier from 53. Now from 59, McCrane hits it. What a kick. It's 10 to six. I can't believe he made that. Denver football and Centarius Phillips makes the reception. It's a gain of five. Leighton still under 50% complete on the day. Scrambling out of the pocket on first down. Now stopping to hesitate. He wanted to throw it, but nobody's open. Receivers are having a pretty tough time separating. Second down, tight coverage on Butler and that is incomplete. What's the call on third and seven? Protection, not holding up. Leighton gets rid of it, downfield! Starkey's got this one! He's definitely in bounds with this catch. Impressive play again by Starkey and Denver. Down to the 25. As Leighton fires and he's picked off by Chris Harris! 
facing his former team in Denver. He jumps the pass for Hakeem Butler. Great read on the curl route, and Leighton is intercepted again, this time by a former teammate. Tennessee keeps their lead 10 to six going into halftime. The marquee matchup this week in the AFC was between the Dolphins and Chargers, and the Dolphins make a statement winning by three scores. There's a good chance that's not the final meeting between these teams this year. Tennessee starts the second half and down goes Mariota with Bradley Chubb wrapping him up back at the 16 yard line. Would be nice to start this quarter with a quick three and out. Off the fake, third and 19. Davis makes the catch and Tennessee gets another conversion. We just haven't made any plays in the secondary. We did the last couple weeks. Now Duke Johnson trying to make moves and he turns this into a four yard pickup. That's 16 carries now for Johnson. Third down, Mariota feels the pressure and Johnson makes the catch and McKinney ends the drive. Still a four point game but Denver starts this drive at their own five yard line. Peppers gets the carry and runs inside for about two. Just 25 yards to this point for Peppers. Here comes the pressure on third down, right at the goal line. Rashawn Evans brings down Leighton. I'm surprised that wasn't ruled a safety. I kind of think it was. But Tennessee gets the ball back quickly. Mariota, a lot of time and wide open. Janu Smith, he takes it to the Denver 40 for a first down. At least this defense has some good news with upcoming matchups against the Patriots and Raiders. Another catch here inside the 35 for Smith. Tennessee facing third down. Six in to protect. Mariota out for Duke Johnson and again stops shy of the marker, this time by Justin Simmons. Out again, Matthew McCrane. Missed from 53, made from 59. Now he makes another one from 50. Tennessee up seven points. Can Denver get anything going this time? They have two field goal possessions and start this drive. Taking off, Taquan Layton. That's a gain of 20. They've got to pick their spots and figure out when Layton can get those big runs. Peppers the draw now on first down and that'll get around five. Broncos go to their cluster package on second down. Leighton from the pocket and right through the hands of Akeem Butler. He was covered again by Chris Harris. Third down for Denver. Leighton feels the rush, but wide open this time. Butler on the crossing pattern. That's a first down. Inside the Tennessee 40, now out of the eye. Some room outside. Here's Peppers. Picks up the first. Still not done until he runs out of real estate at the 21-yard line. They'd love to get Marion going here in the second half. He carries again, straight ahead this time, meeting Rashawn Evans after two. Starkey the second receiver on third down. Quick throw, cut by Miles Starkey inside the five. Goal to go, Denver, down a touchdown. Phillips and Starkey the two receivers on first and goal with time. Back in the end zone, count it, touchdown, Centarius Phillips. There we go, that wasn't so bad. Good possession for Denver. Phenomenal play by Phillips for touchdown number three on the year. We're all tied at 13 everybody here in the third quarter. Mariota off the fake, finds Adam Humphreys who sat right in the soft spot in the zone but he's a little shaken up after this catch. Corey Davis into the game now as Johnson carries. Not much there, a flag comes in late. And it's against Tennessee, thankfully. Denver declined the penalty, they want the stop here. Third down and Mariota is dropped. Sack 151 on the career for Vaughn Miller. All right, Denver, a second straight week making things interesting. Leighton from the 15 connects with Fan who picks up the first down, a gain of 12. Third down now for Denver. 
Leighton in the pocket out quickly, and fans had a shot at it, but could not make the catch. 10-26 to go in this game. Tennessee running. Duke Johnson meets McKinney, who's played really well today in run defense. From the 27, it's third down. Mariota settles, and Janu Smith can't hang on. McKinney was there again to make a play. All in all, it's been another pretty good performance for this defense. That would be three in a row. They get the stop, and here's Deion Price making his way outside. So much faster than everybody else on the field. Denver gets to start this one at their own 49. Great field position. They come out twin tight ends. Nowhere to go for Marion Peppers, trying to run inside. Bradshaw with the play that time. Nine minutes on the clock and nearly intercepted. That wouldn't have been very good. Leighton wanted that out immediately. That brings up third and 11. Pressure again, and it's not picked up as Tyrone Bradshaw made the play on first down. He makes the play on third down. Bradshaw was a rookie is a rookie that I had a lot of interest in this past draft. Tennessee football and Corey Davis makes the reception. That's a gain of 14 yards. We're under seven to go. Mariota play fake. He's gonna air it out at the sideline. Yes, Corey Davis with the grab. Just got enough separation from Xavier Watts. Tennessee back in business, trying to break the tie. Duke Johnson will get the first down this time. 24 carries for Johnson. They've been persistent. Dumped off, Johnson again. Very busy day for him as he takes it down to the 11. He's not coming off the field either. Third down, and back in the game is Adam Humphreys, and he has the first down. Goal to go, Tennessee trying to get this in the end zone again. Good coverage, Mariota backing up and dropped by Boogie! Nine sacks on the season for the potential Rookie of the Year. Third down, Tennessee, two minutes on the clock. They'll be content running. Flag down, and this should be on Tennessee. Denver can easily decline this, but they're not. They accepted it to back up Tennessee. Again, Duke Johnson wrapped up by Miles Jack. So Denver did make the field goal try a little bit tougher. McCrane finally gets the try one from inside 50. 41 yards to take the lead. And it's right down the middle. Tennessee up three with under two to play. That means we have another defining moment here for the Denver offense and young quarterback. Take one, Leighton. What a throw! Chased outside the pocket, he delivers to Noah Fans. That's a great way to start this drive. Out to their 43 now. A lot of time and not on the same page with Hakeem Butler. Three wide for Denver, approaching the 62nd mark. Outside again, Leighton wide open, Centarius Phillips on the catch, 20 yards. And again, we see Leighton outside the pocket, great things are happening, some of our best plays all day. 53 seconds left and underneath again, Noah Fant turns it up inside the 10. And Denver has plenty of time, if they can just find the end zone one more time. Handoff, Peppers trying to cut it, and there's nowhere for him to go. Not a bad time to try that, but it looks like this has to get done in the air. Rolling out again, Leighton directing traffic and completing to Starkey. Another great catch, and the Broncos have it at the three. Can they punch this in? They spread out the defense. Leighton lobs it, it is deflected, and dropped by Noah Fant. He had it! Leighton also had the slants open. Are they going for it? Fourth down Denver, and Hillhouse jumped. I don't think they'll try it now. They'll just tie the game if McManus can hit this kick, and he does. So they do get down the field. They can't quite take the lead. 31 seconds now for Tennessee. 
And they'll just keep this on the ground. And finding an opening here, Duke Johnson. That is trouble. He picks up 15 and gives Tennessee a chance to win it. 18 seconds left. Short throw. Johnson spins off a tackle and is stopped. One timeout left for Tennessee. 12 seconds to go. Mariota pressured. He gets rid of it. At the sideline, there's a flag. Humphreys stepped out. And we're lucky he did. Looks like Tennessee will just go to the end zone now. A Hail Mary. Mariota. He gets it to the end zone. And it's incomplete with one second left. They'll get one more shot. Tennessee trying to win it or will have overtime. Blitz picked up. Denver got aggressive. One more time to the end zone. And it's intercepted. Damian Charles with the second of his career. What a strange time for it to happen. Overtime it is. Denver trying to play spoiler. And they're getting the football first. Deion Price awaiting at the goal line. Here's the speedster. Cutting inside a juke and stopped at the 23. Here are the Broncos. Can they walk this one off? Here's a handoff. Pepper's trying to bounce it, but can't get wide of Harold Landry. Only 45 yards on the day for Peppers. The air on second down. This is Hakeem Butler, and he'll fight his way to the 30. And it's third down. Big play. Spreading out the defense again. Leighton blitzed and hit down. Wow, he had open receivers. He just couldn't get the pass out in time. And Tennessee gets a three and out. Tied at 16. Mariota lobs it up. And Duke Johnson, how'd he make that catch? I guess Tennessee's making up for all the carries and catches he didn't get in Cleveland. First and 10. Over the middle and almost picked. It was knocked away by Baxter. That was a chance at a takeaway. On the slant now, it's A.J. Brown. Gain of six. Can our defense make a third down play? Denver sends four. Mariota complete to Jonu Smith. Right up the seam. Great catch by one of the leading tight ends in the league. Tennessee is now in field goal range and gets even closer thanks to Duke Johnson. I can't believe he's still getting all these snaps. It's third down. Pressure is sent and it doesn't matter. First down. Jarek McKinnon. Tennessee at the 25 and getting even closer. Duke Johnson breaking tackles. He's nearing 40 touches. Still not coming off the field. They can't get to Mariota. He's got to make a decision and throws the ball away as a flag comes in. There's a little break for Denver. Tennessee backs up. Still in field goal range. Hand off Duke Johnson inside the 20. He has not slowed down at all this game. And that means Matthew McCrane can attempt the game winner. 36 yards, right hash. And the Tennessee Titans move to 7-5 on the season. The Denver Broncos fall to 3-9, our third losing season of the series. And this feels like a game we certainly could have and maybe should have won. We had a chance to score the go-ahead touchdown on those slants. Instead, it was lobbed out to Fant, and the ball wasn't really where I wanted it, but still, the slant would have been a potential easy touchdown. Oh well, I guess we're not going to the playoffs anyway. We fought pretty hard in this game. Noah Fant made plays. I thought Miles Starkey and his catches in traffic were impressive. Christian Baxter, 19 tackles. McKinney had 13. But perhaps what I enjoyed most about this game was making plays outside the pocket with Taquan Layton. And I would like to do more of that. I wish that there were more designed rollout passes and some plays where it actually fit into the structure. But I guess maybe we just have to freestyle the offense a bit more. It certainly helped today. A lot of our biggest plays were on just getting out of the pocket and making something happen. I'm sure you've noticed by now, especially with that third down play in overtime, Leighton does not have a very quick release, and that makes throwing from the pocket even more challenging. 
but it's something I have to start adapting to. There have been so many plays this year where I've wanted to throw the ball either to a receiver or out of bounds, and instead he's sacked partway through the throwing animation. And it also hurts the deep ball because he doesn't have great throw power regardless, so the ball has to come out quick, really quick on those deep balls. We hit one today to Starkey, that was pretty sweet. I'll try to get him some more chances. I didn't know he was that good in traffic. He made three different plays today. One didn't count, but the fact that he made the catch shows me that his ratings allow him to make that play, so it still counts to me. We also got Noah Fant involved. It was mostly on crossing patterns that they weren't covering very well. I'm guessing their coverages were just very repetitive, and that's why we had to go to the same stuff over and over again. But hopefully, as the season winds down, we can find more things to build upon moving forward. We're a couple games away from getting Donovan Jennings back, and that'll make our backfield even more dynamic. And I want to make an effort down the stretch to really make plays with Leighton outside the pocket. That's going to be where we need to get better. Here's a look at the draft prospects and a few that I really am targeting. I think that Tommy Jordan would be an awesome player to add to our secondary given his versatility at either safety or corner, and I really want to add a route runner. I've wanted a dynamic route runner for a long time, ever since we got rid of Emmanuel Sanders, and I think that Chad Robinson could be a player we draft this year, but I need to make sure we get a route runner, especially because right now, missing Curtis Samuel, I just miss somebody that can create separation reliably. Well, that is it for week 13, everybody. We have just four games left to go. I'll get those on the channel as fast as I can. Thank you all for your support. Thank you for watching the channel. Please subscribe and leave a like on the video, and I will see you next time. Have a great day.